Hey guys, welcome to new video. This is, this is the fifth video in the Keylabs annotation playlist. So we're basically covered everything on the Keylabs platform. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can do interpolation on video sequences. So it's basically just how we can take a video, do interpolations, and we only have to annotate a few frames, and then it can do automatic interpolation in between those frames and we can annotate a whole video in just a few minutes so this is pretty cool we're going to go over a bunch of examples for some real life use cases both for some sweet potatoes running on a conveyor belt which is an industrial and also production use case and we're also going to take a look at a video where we just have some cars on the road and it can actually do interpolation even though the cars are occluded and so on it will still do be able to do annotations and predict the correct bounding boxes for the cars. Then we're also going to take a look at how you can annotate your images and your data sets simultaneously if you have teams. And this is kind of like just going hand in hand with all the other videos that we have with the Keylabs platform. So definitely check those videos out in that playlist. We covered the whole platform from auto labeling with SAM model. So how you can basically just choose an area and then it's going to segment out like click on an object. It's going to segment out that specific object and so on. And then you can also label your data set with machine learning assisted models. So it's really important that we work with our data and we try to improve our data set all the time because trash into our models is also trash out. So really need to focus on our data keep making our data better. We also have like point cloud annotation and so on. So definitely check those videos out. Let's just jump straight into it and let's see how we can do interpolation on videos and also how we can annotate as teams. So one guy can annotate cars, the other guy can annotate persons. And then at the end, we can merge all the labels, train our models directly on that. So we're just jump straight into the Keylabs platform. I have already opened up one of the projects and you can also do assignments and so on. If you want to know more details about how you can upload data, go in, take individual frames and so on from the videos and start your annotation. Definitely check the other videos out that we have in the playlist. We cover everything from setup, how we can annotate, the different types of tools and so on, and how the platform works in general. But here we're basically just opening up this video stream where we have the sequence and then we're going to annotate these cars and do interpolation on our video. At the top here, we can see we have five out of 171 images and right now we just take a single car and for each individual frame we're going to have a key point or like a key frame and in between those key frames we actually like want to do interpolation which is pretty awesome but in the start we actually have to go in and do some modifications to our bounding boxes from frame to frame and then over time it will just become better at actually like predicting the next bounding box or doing interpolation in between so here i'm just going to draw the bounding boxes around the different objects even though some of them are occluded you'll be able to see at the end here that when we move from frame to frame it is still able to interpolate even though the optics are occluded because we're using like visual features and so on to do the interpolation in between the frames. So right now we just need to make sure that our bounding boxes are actually like fitted nicely around the cars. Once we hit play on the video and we have annotated a couple of keyframes, it will be able to detect all the cars, even new cars coming in here at the top. You will be able to assign a bounding box to that and also just have the cars coming around in this corner. So right now we're pretty much just annotated all our keyframes and we're now able to interpolate in between the frames. So let's now play the video and here we can see the video playing even cars coming into the frame, cars that we haven't really annotated. They will also be assigned and bounding box and it is going to track it over time over the number of frames in our video. So this is pretty cool. This is a very useful tool when you want to annotate like a lot of images, a lot of data at the same time and want to save a lot of time as well because you just need a couple of keyframes here and there. So let's say we want a keyframe in frame. 1, 10, 20, 50, 100, and then we'll be able to do interpolation between all the other frames inside that video sequence. So we also have another use case here before I'm going to show you how we can do annotations in teams where we actually like have two team members working on the same data, and then we can go and merge it later on. So one can assign one class and another annotator can assign another class or like draw bounding boxes. Again, we both do segmentation mask, bit mask, object detection, just standard bounding boxes and so on. Here we basically just have these sweet potatoes on a conveyor belt. So this is just another use case, just to show you guys that we can use this for a bunch of different use cases. You can use your own data as well, but it is the exact same thing. When we do our video annotation here, we're just drawing the bounding boxes. These are a bit easier and we don't have that many in here. So we have 230 frames in total. Right now we're just skipping in between the keyframes. Over to the left, we can see the different objects. So we actually like have a unique ID for each object. So it's easy to navigate around in, especially if we have a lot of objects, but also different objects in our scene. So let's just do all the annotations here. Let's just do a couple of keyframes and correct our bounding boxes. And then once we play the video again, it will be able to just keep track of all the objects here. So it's better pretty much just object tracking, but we're using interpolation instead. So that's pretty cool. 
Now we can see that we have pretty much all of it. Let's now play the video. And we can even see this robot gripper grabbing these sweet potatoes and placing it in boxes running on this conveyor belt. So even though we didn't annotate the sweet potatoes running in the background, it was still able to pick those up as well. So this is pretty awesome. So we can basically use this to train a model on detecting these objects running on a conveyor belt. We can do object tracking, counting systems, or like how many objects are being placed in specific like bins or boxes over here at the end, how many are passing through and so on. So we can apply a lot of statistics on top of this once we have trained our machine learning models after we have done the notation with key labs. So the last cool tool here that I want to show you guys is basically just like how we can collaborate on the key labs platform. So that's pretty useful as well. If you're a team working on a data set, like on a larger data set, but it could also just be that you want to speed up the process of labeling or you have a ton of objects that you want to label as well. So first of all here, we're basically just going to use this tool. We have me as an annotator and then we have Jane as the other annotator and she's going to annotate persons and I'm going to annotate cars in this environment here and after that we're going to merge it and you can see the result. Then we can speed up the process of annotating and the good thing about it is that we can now do simultaneously collaboration, multiple virtual locations so we don't have to be in the same office, we don't have to be in the same location, you can pretty much just do it wherever you are in the whole world. We'll have automated file distribution. It's going to take care of all of that. It's also going to give us some annotation reports if you want to dive more into that and take a look at it. And we have flexible permissions, both for security and also data integrity. So right now, let's just go in and let's just annotate all our vehicles. And then Jane is going to take care of the person. I'm just going to show my view here to start with. We just go in and correct the bounding boxes. So in the exact same way as we did when we started out. So right now we can see we have all these different tools over here to the right. We have our optics on the left and we have a toolbar up at the, up at the top, but we're already covering that in all the other videos that we have in the playlist. So we have the different key points. We have like this star symbol, which is the key point. We can delete it. We can have multiple different layers and so on for our annotations. We can link different objects together with our assigned IDs. So right now I'm just going to finish up these cars. We also have these in the background, which is pretty hard to see. So we can also zoom in very far with this key labs annotation platform. Form. So right now, just have the point of view from Jane. She's doing the annotations right now, so we can choose between different uses and so on. But she is going to annotate persons walking here on the crosswalk, but also just on the sidewalk here around in the image. So here at the end, we can see that we have now merged the annotations. I annotated the cards and Jane annotated the persons walking here around in the frame. And now everything is merged. We can go to the next image or we can get started training our computer vision and machine learning models. So this is actually like easy to, to speed it up. Like it's pretty much just speed it, speeding it up by 2x. So this is pretty cool. Well, now we can do these collaborations. And also if you have some annotators, which are good for annotating one specific object and the other one is good for the other, then we can always merge it at the end. Speed up our whole machine learning computer vision training pipeline so we can get started training our model and deploying them into real world applications and use cases. But I think a good use case is definitely like having conveyor belt in production, having tracking, having a tracking system on top of that. And I have videos for all of that. Also how you can take a data set, train it with Yulv8, Yulv9, a bunch of different object detection models, both for object detection, instant segmentation, and we have a whole computer vision pipeline, how you can extract the results, run inference. So definitely check those videos out as well. And you have the whole computer vision training pipeline and you're now ready to apply these models, apply these objects to some real world use cases and applications. So I really hope you learned a ton, test it out on your own, get started training computer vision models and use it for something cool. So let me know down in the comments if you have some cool use cases and applications where we could use this for and just computer vision models in general and we might create some projects around that. So thank you guys for watching this video here and I hope to see you in one of the upcoming ones. Until then, happy learning.